So, what's up with Notion? Notion is a tool that I keep hearing about. Uh, it just keeps coming up again and again. I've heard it from clients, subscribers, even friends of mine keep talking about this tool called Notion. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with my tech stack and how I, the different tools I have in my system right now. But because Notion keeps coming up, I thought I would reach out to my good friend, Francesco D'Alessio, to find out a little bit more. Francesco is maybe somebody you've come across online. He is a YouTuber that makes fantastic videos about different productivity tools and so I thought he would be the perfect person to ask to explain Notion to me and for you as well. So as Francesco states in this video, Notion is a very versatile tool. In fact, I have to say, I, I haven't come across anything quite like this before where it kind of does a bit of everything. It can be used for task management, notes, uh, managing your time, content calendars, a wiki. It even gets into like spreadsheets and it becomes a bit of a database tool as well. So this in itself is a bit of a challenge because it can do so much. It's quite hard to know where to start, but don't worry. Francesco explains everything in this video. He actually shows us his own Notion account and how he uses it at uh, Keep Productive to manage things like his video and different parts of his business. If you want to learn more about Notion, he actually has a course that he's recently released that he will be sharing details of as well. And if you have any other questions, you can leave comments on this video or on this po blog post, and I will ask Francesco to keep an eye on the comments there as well. So without further ado, please enjoy this introduction to Notion with Francesco D'Alessio. Hello there, thank you very much to Paul for introducing me. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and I run Keep Productive, which is a YouTube channel all about productivity tools and software. So as you can imagine, uh, there is a bit of a popular tool in the space. You guys may have already heard of it through your Twitter feeds, Product Hunt, I don't know where you may have seen it, but you may have heard of it because it's a rising star. It's called Notion. And uh, I'm going to be going over some of the basics of the tool today over on the laptop and guiding you through how it could be useful as your role as maybe a consultant, freelancer, or working professional, or someone that just wants to use it to organize their life. Now, what's cool about Notion is it has a wide variety of use cases under one house. It allows you to do, for example, if you want to do task management, uh, you could do it inside of Notion. If you wanted to do maybe being able to organize boards and projects, you could do that, very similar to apps like Trello, but all under one roof. And you could take notes like you would in Evernote inside of Notion too. So it has many different hats it wears and it calls itself the all-in-one workspace. And it does quite a good job at being able to put that all into one roof so you don't use multiple applications. So lots of people using it from real estate um, project managers um, all the way over to schools and students to be able to organize their classes. It's a very versatile tool. So let's jump over to the laptop and dive into some of the basics. Um, before we begin, I just want to thank Paul for having me here and uh, hopefully I can show you all that you need to know about Notion. Anyway, folks, see you on the laptop. So folks, this is what Notion looks like. And uh, this is actually my own workspace with our team, Keep Productive. And as you can see here, we've used it as a wiki. Um, and the great thing about Notion is you can pretty much mold it to any sort of use that you want. And we'll touch in some of the basic abilities in a moment. But you can see that I use it for a range of different things. Uh, we actually have get started guides for new team members on here. Bit of branding detail here. These are all pages which can be accessed. And also we have a, a content calendar in which we use to plan all of our videos. So it becomes a really effective way to be able to manage upcoming videos. And even inside of these, uh, you should be able to see scripts of those videos too. So it's a very versatile tool. And what I wanna do as well, before we move on to the next part bit, is actually show you how uh, that works in a personal situation. So this is my own personal workspace. Up at the top left-hand corner, you can create a workspace for pretty much anything. Um, you get to choose between uh, personal uh, and also uh, business plans or, or team plans, they're called. Um, but you can add anyone you want at any given time down here. So this is my own personal layout. Um, it's pretty uh, easily set up, but as you can see, uh, I've got where I manage my projects, I've got health and fitness, I've got stuff to do with the house, um, and also uh, a work area, uh, guides on projects that I could be working on, um, and also details about my time off and things like that. So it's a very versatile tool. 
Um, this may not make sense to you before we dive into some of the abilities of it. So let's do just that. So what's very cool is when you get started, you get a free account, which is 1000 blocks, and this is enough to get you started. Now you'll be met with this get started page, um, and the best thing to do is go ahead and delete that if you necessarily don't want to understand it. I'll show you all the details today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new page. So inside of your account, uh, pages are essentially like notebooks. Uh, when you create a page, you can create sub-pages within that page, and it goes on and on. In this case, as this is my first page, I may actually want to go ahead and create a home. Now, with every single page, you can add an icon, um, and I could choose the home for that. And you can also add a cover to it, so that it gives a bit of a sort of background uh, to what you're working on. You can change the cover at any time and even upload your own or choose from some of the gallery and even unsplash. Um, so this could be a nice way to set up your own personal home or team home. Now, I would recommend if you're getting started to utilize the templates, but let's first show you how you can build something inside of a page. And this might be incredibly useful. Now at any given time, if you wanna create something, you press the slash command and uh, you can see here that a range of things called blocks come up. Now this sort of block options um, range from just adding plain text, to adding a page, to adding a to-do, to adding headers, and a lot more. And there are so many different formatting abilities that you can quickly get started with. So for example, if I quickly wanted to add a page, a page is created, and if I go to home using the bread marks at the top, um, you can see that the page has been created and I can actually rename it and start building that page separately. So if I press the slash command again, you don't just are able to add simple text stuff. You can actually go ahead and add these things called databases. Now, databases are a little bit harder to explain because uh, as you use them, you'll become more aware of how functional they are. But you can add anything from a table like you would see in Excel to a board that you would see, say, in an application like Trello to a gallery that may be useful for portfolio work to a list that may be useful for meeting notes, and uh, a calendar, which you all would know as a way to plan and organize, uh, say, the month ahead. So these pages are, are pretty useful. You can either have them in line, which means they fit nicely inside of the page, or as full pages, but they're a great way to be able to get started. Now, as I said, I will probably go ahead and use some templates. So what I may do is uh, go to this template option down here. Now, obviously there are a range of options. If you're someone that just wants to use it for yourself, you may want to use the personal section to be able to copy or use this template for notes and drafts. And this could be for creating some notes. Um, this might be useful for us. You may want a reading list, which allows you to clip useful articles across the web and be able to add authors to them. You may want a travel planner, um, to be able to plan your future trips, including maps, and useful tools like that. Or you may even want a weekly agenda to help you plan your week ahead. Now, when it comes to being able to go further, as I said, sales might be something that's pretty important to you. So a sales CRM could be a good way to keep track of any clients, a little bit like how Pipedrive works. So let's go ahead and use this template. So as you can see here, this sales serum comes, so as you can see here, this sales serum comes pretty much um, getting started, like it has all the details you need to know, and it works very similar to what a Trello board would do. So for example, if I moved Mary Meeks over to the qualified lead, you can see that 20,000 comes up here, and I can click into each of these and actually modify all of the information. Now I won't touch on some of the advanced abilities like relational databases, and uh, some of the uh, adding properties. They're very cool once you learn them. Um, and obviously you can add notes down here and details, but it is really powerful once you learn it because you can set up some really cool workspaces. So that's one of the many uses of it, as in you can get started adding some leads to a sales CRM. Now let's go ahead and find a few more. Say you're in marketing and you want a content calendar like myself, you wanna go ahead and use this template. And you can see here that uh, I can go ahead and start a content calendar. I can drag things across, very much in which I would do inside of an application like Trello. 
Now, maybe I want to, um, you know, start some class notes uh, for me and uh, my my son or, or daughter and be able to organize all of that. So you may want to go ahead and in class notes, press use this template so that you can work with them on some homework or a bit of activities each night and keep that all organized in one area. So if we go into here, you can see that all the notes and important points can be added as well as all the details here. So as I said, you can just add a property to any of the fields. Um, and this is just a very simple table database. But the cool thing is, if you want to be able to change the view of a database and filter it down, it can be very advanced. You can actually change it to a list view. You can change it to by course and even uh, per course as well, just by utilizing these really advanced filters here. So let's go ahead and create a brand new page. Now, what I'm going to do with you guys is create a very simple task management experience that you may want to use uh, for yourself. So just an example of how you can take advantage of this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the board as a example. And as you can see here, the board is created as a full page. So I may want to call this one tasks and give it the icon of a nice tick so that I can get started with my tasks. Now you may want to start with a very simple setup like not started in progress completed, but if I wanted to change that around, I could see all of the different statuses here. Now the best way to modify that is actually to go into cards and create your own setup. So in this case, I don't really need uh, who it's assigned to because it's only for me, although you may want to have that if your team's uh, necessarily set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that property. I'm also going to associate this to a project. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the property type of multi-select. And finally, I'm going to give it the deadline date and add the property type of a date. So as you can see here, I'm getting started here. And maybe I want to edit Skillshare class as one of my projects. So you may want to add a status to it. Here you can actually edit and modify them, change the color, even change the title of them. So I want to say um, to do maybe, and uh, I could change this one to doing and uh, modify it down over here to done. So maybe I need to do this one and I can add an icon as well here. Maybe I want to add a, a video because it's editing the video. Now maybe I want to associate it to a project. So in this case, I want to say this is a Skillshare project that I'm working on right now and give it a deadline of the 16th of April. So as you can see here, I've added a bit of detail. So I may want to go ahead, go into properties and actually hide or show some of the attributes that I've added to this. So what I can do is I can move this across the different states really, really easily. Now, if I wanted to, I could go to the add view up here, add calendar, give it the view title of calendar and go ahead and press create. Now, as you can see here, it appears in the calendar. So I can actually add the project, add the due date and add the status. And you can see here, I can plan uh, all of my activities or to do's for this period of time. Now, if I had a project that lasted a couple of days or even a couple of weeks, I could even stretch it out. And inside of this, I can actually open this up as a page and go ahead and add my own notes, even databases, all below here. Now, of course, task management can be much more advanced than that. You can add some really advanced filters. So if I only wanted to see a certain deadline that was uh, after uh, the tomorrow, for example, then only those would appear. So you can add a real host of different filters and sorting that would take you a lot further. Now, just showing you a few of the other templates, there are a range here. Uh, if you wanted to go on product management and you wanted to use this as meeting notes, let's go ahead and use this template. But if I went uh, into this, I can actually get started adding my own meeting notes and uh, taking advantage of some of the features like database templates allowing you to actually have these drafts or templates. So if I, for example, wanted to start a project kickoff meeting and I could select the project, um, the database template for that, I can get started and I can basically see all of these. So you can set these up and they can be very useful for saving time on meeting notes and projects. Now this application is really advanced, so you may want to start playing around with it 
First, I always recommend people understand their use and how they're going to and what tools are going to be replacing with this application. But I can assure you there are so many features in this that will have your mind pretty impressed. Now you can import from other applications. So if you have some Trello boards, so if you have some Trello boards or even Asana, Quip, Dot, Dropbox paper, you can bring them across and even Evernote. So that might save you a bit of time. So folks, hopefully that gave you a nice overview of Notion. It's a really powerful tool. And uh, Paul's going to link to the course that we've got on Notion, which will help you to take you a lot further. Once you learn Notion, it's got unlimited capabilities. And our course goes over a, a pretty wide range of use cases and also teaches you step by step how to take you to the end goal. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. And thank you very much for stopping by. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can reach out to me, Francesco, at keepproductive.com. And of course, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, but a big thank you to Paul for having me. And hopefully you found Notion very valuable. I will talk to you all very soon. And cheers, everyone. Bye.